nephews and my family and I'm taking my oldest niece with me so she has more you know cultural connection being out on the land especially before starting school and as we're still living in a pandemic today. So for me, being Indigenous is not being separate from the land, but being a part of it and thinking of it in that way. Like, this is my territory. I feel so close and connected with it. Um, I And I also think about, like, being with my granny and, like, how important she was to, the, to my family and as a matriarch and just all of her teachings and like her stories over and over and how they, I, it makes me feel so connected to my home here in, in KO. And it's, and being Indigenous is like, it, it really is like living in relation. Like everything, even the way we introduce ourselves, we say like who our parents are, who our grandparents are. We think about how we're all connected to the land and, um, and our food source. As a general, that's that's kind of what I think about. Well, I'll go next. Yeah. So for me, being Indigenous is just kind of like having a whole community that supports you. You know, it takes a community. Like we all came together from different communities. Some of us are from Biche, some of us are from Tache, some of us are from Nakazli. We all came together to do this and I mean, I wasn't a part of it, but I did get to see you guys a lot. So I feel like being Indigenous is just being a part of one giant community. It doesn't matter where you're from. We're all connected in some way. Um, probably, I, um, just being able to explore this community or really any community, really, without worrying about, I don't know, being able to explore our land and connect with it in any way. Thank you. Um, me, for me, being Indigenous means, yeah, this idea of like reciprocity and living in relation, like you said. Um, my family, like we didn't grow up with culture, it was kind of cut off uh, about after my grandpa. You know, like lots of racism, residential school, Indian day school, things like that. Um, so for me also, as a personal journey, there is a little bit of like a resurgence, like reclaiming culture and identity and just like finding voice again and taking space and just learning. But ultimately for me, it's about just connecting with the land. Like we all come from the land and everything that we have and everything that we know is, is a gift from, from the land. And so finding a way to live in a way that honors that relationship is for wherever I am can be like home. Being indigenous for me is like you feel that like every other indigenous person that you meet is like your family. Like like you like you have like family everywhere. Yeah. And like I don't know, it just feels like instant connection. Yeah. Right? 
just like feels like everyone around me is like has a one guess. seem like my cousin's to me. Like, mm. just, you know, you guys, I guess? Because, I don't know, just like family. Mm. Just like, being able to connect with whoever, I guess. learned different ways to like turn the canoe like prying and drawing and how to keep yourself stable while in a canoe especially while it's Uh, they taught us a lot of cool things like uh, we all got to cook and clean and we had to set up our own tarps every day. First thing we learned was, just before, the day before we left was just how to do the basic paddle strokes to like move the canoe. And then the day after that we set up our tarps and stuff, so well, that's when they had to teach us all the notes. Day with a ton of you know the first day was 13 kilometers and then the next day was like 11 kilometers with a ton of wind a ton of rain I did do different types of knots and different types of paddle strokes and a lot of cool things how to sleep on your tarp and stuff
run. Fun.